nothing from the bargain basement. He is the most courageous, remorseless writer going. And the more he grinds my nose in the shift, the more I'm grateful to him. He's not fucking me about, he's not leading me up in any garden, he's not slipping me any wink, he's not plugging me a remedy or a path or a revelation or a basin full of breadcrumbs. He's not sending me anything I don't want to buy, he doesn't give a bollock whether I buy or not. He hasn't got his hand over his heart. Well, I'll buy his goods, hook, line, and sinker, because he leaves no stone unturned and no matter lonely. He brings forth a body of beauty. His work is beautiful. And that's it. And this goes, you know, yeah. uh, every 13 or something. Like no, I'm obviously very curious because you spend many months in, several months now in Berlin. Did you do, is this, this is the main work you do, but did you do also other works in the oh, studio? Oh, yes, here? in my studio I have 30, yeah. 33 works. Wow. Which are not for this, I, I don't know what they're for, but there are small works and yeah. I, I paint them. Uh, and I go, I, I mean, I have to go every day to my studio to, to be able to. So next time we should visit the studio when I'm back in January oh, yes, or February, of I would love to yeah, see that. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes, of course. Um, yeah. So you did 33 paintings. A small paintings, really yeah. small. I mean, I think Nobody's seen them. The work is coming from painting. You see that oh yes, that's yeah, the yeah. other thing. Because it's that's what I explained to Jalal to feed. I, I was telling him, hey Jalal, look, my work derives from painting. I mean, we have very different artists here this year. <laughs> <laughs> right. My work comes from painting, and he said, what do you mean? This is all sculpture. And I said, no, it's painting. It, it's really painting. I think it's not sculpture. I think it's a theater stage <laughs> made by a painter. <laughs> but you know, I, I think of painting as layers, different layers. But can you talk and, about and, why the painting is the, important? The universe of color. Yeah, why is it painting? I would be curious if you can tell us about. Oh the yes, painting. look. Um, <laughs> um, oh, it, it's so much about painting. Um, um, let me start. You see, the difficult thing is all the, in other words, um, or I consider painting to be, uh, and that, that is why the constructive part of painting is so important for me, because uh, painting is, um, painting really has to do with, uh, I mean, all these things, the way this is assembled, the way it keeps its gravity, the way that there's no hierarchy between the elements, right, um, permits me to suppose that this is a badly painted thing, uh, or, uh, uh, but it is painted, it is one layer after another, and that's how it keeps its place. And if one looks, you know, I have a, a relationship with Lichtenstein's uh, Bende Drops, for example, or many other things. I mean, it's really crazy because I looked over there and, and then I saw Mario Mertz and, and then I looked over here and there's, there's a flat and then, then there's a... And, and this other consideration, which is so important for McCracken, I mean, he think McCracken does it beautifully because he, he, he would never put a pedestal in this way. He, put it, he puts it perfectly. And he does it for a reason, for a painting reason, which is incredible, which is yeah. the reflection. I mean, you have the reflection. I, I, I would have to draw this. You have the reflection. And the reflection... Yeah, let's get some paper. The, re the reflection, what happens is this. There is a pen. And, uh, yeah, here's the paper. And so, McCracken, when he does his... Um, when he does his, what, well, his little pedestal, and, and then he puts on this thing. I'm doing it badly, but okay. And let's say this is the sculpture on top. But this distance and this distance and this distance and this one is exactly, it's perfect. But the nice thing is that the reflection of this white be this white thing does a line here and does a line here and does a line on the other side and does a line. So this thing is not only that thing, it is another thing. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, which is this thing. I mean, this is these lines, but which are not perfect. So this is another, I mean, you see what happens here? It makes another type of uh, constructive uh, reality. And here it does another thing, which is smaller, slightly mm -hmm. small. And so that reflection uh, is of a different kind. And uh, McCracken would never put, I mean, the terms in so many, 
so many nice things, you know, to be able to work on. And McCracken would never put uh, two pedestals for a sculpture, obviously. And ah, and the other thing, John, which was what I wanted to tell you, is that Peter, in his book, has a poem which is called It Is Here. And it's written for his wife. And it's about love. Well, I mean, love for his wife. And McCracken's piece is called It Is Here. I mean, this piece, which I copied from the Hamburger Bahnhof, and which is this thick, 36, is called It Is Here. And Pinter did a, a poem which is called It Is Here. And they say, I say, what is this? I mean, this is incredible. Well, the, uh, not incredible, this is really nice. And uh, right, I, I called you, Ariane, when I, when, I found the, when, I found the, when I found this poem in the book, Various Voices, and, uh, and, and you know what it says? What sound was that? I turn away into the shaking room, the, the fact of a shaking room. What was that sound that came in on the dark? What is this maze of light it leaves us in? What is this stance we take to turn away and then turn back? What did we hear? It was the breath we took when we first met. Listen, it is here. So it is the power, it is the, you know, the power of love, I mean the power of everything of life within a space. That's a great summary of the whole show. So next time we need to visit the studio. I'm very curious to see your paintings. Oh, okay. And I have one last question because this is an homage. I mean, McCracken died this year and this wonderful oh. film of memory. And you know um, what happened? No. I went to the Hamburger Bahnhof on the April the 8th, I think it was. And uh, I went, on a, I went on, a, on a Sunday. McCracken had died the, the Friday before. In other words, McCracken died on Friday. I went on the Sunday. And when I saw the McCrackens, which was, uh, they were by a Donald Judd, and I had never seen the Donald Judd uh, in life. And I had done, you know, the, the other work that looks like Donald Judd, the one that you know, um, Hans Ulrich, uh, over in Venezuela, remember? Yeah, yeah. And, um, and I saw the McCracken, and I was completely, well, how they say, blown away by the McCracken pieces. And they have this strange thing within them. And, uh, and, and then I learned on Tuesday that he had died. I said, what? It can't be. This, this is incredible. And um, it just happened. Like that. Mm. But thank you so much. I'm very, very happy. of the exhibition? The film that was made of it. We are the last uh, people to see yeah. it uh, uh, as it is. It's an honor. <laughs> well, no, it's a great honor for us that you opened it. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, can I describe it? It's yes. Excellent. Well, it was an exhibition that I was supposed to do at the Museo Nacional in Colombia. And um, I had won a prize, and so they said, hey, you can do an exhibition. But uh, they, they, showed the exhibi uh, they showed the program, uh, I mean, the, the idea to the curators or whatever, or the directors, and they said, no, 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 no. It's, uh, no, you can exhibit somewhere else. I mean, you go exhibit uh, at a parking lot. And, but, it, but it was nice, because I did another exhibition. But the thing that I wanted to do there was to have a series of paintings um, made of two colors each, um, abstract paintings, and they were, and a series of also of um, what I call formaletas, which are with what we make our walls in Colombia. They are uh, wooden constructions which hold the cement, and they leave their imprint on the on the cement, and then they do the wall, let's say. Mm -hmm. So the wall is made up of all these things. Yeah. And so they were different. It was really nice. It was really beautiful. I can't describe exactly how it's going to be, but they were very high. I mean, the ceiling is very high. Not how much size is this? But they were black things uh, uh, coming like this and uh, made of formalettas and the other. And the other. And, and what I wanted to have was to have um, a very poor man from the street uh, live in the space during the time of the exhibition. So he didn't have to pay anything, and so he could rest and go out into the street and come back and rest and come back and whatever you know, and a little bit uh, have that possibility of giving a man. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I know this must probably been done before, but I wanted to do it in 1995. Yeah, and um, I, I just wanted to ha to have him sleep there uh, within a museum, uh, a beautiful room because it was a very nice big, and the guards to let him go in and out as he pleased, because guards are very furious in Colombia. 
and they don't leave anybody in or out. Uh, so complicated. And, and so it was just having this man sleep there uh, and, you know, being able to have his, uh, his tranquility and peace. And the museum wouldn't allow it to happen? Or? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. No, they didn't. They, they, I, I presented the, the, the thing, but no, somehow or other, they did not let me uh, do anything. So here we go. That has to go into the agency of unrealized projects. Yeah. <laughs>